shall be the foundation for your promotion. I see you in your next life. I want to say to you, the Lord is God. He said, glory ye in his holy name. We will call upon the name of the Lord. Our enemies shall power. Because the Bible said, the name of, the, of, the, of the, uh, the name of Jesus, every name shall power. And thus compare that Jesus Christ is Lord. Be it is in the heaven or things on the earth or things underneath the earth. From this work, uh, the powers against our nation, the powers against our family, the powers against our financial, they shall begin to power. In one of our prayer meetings, we decree that God should that God should rise to divide the enemies against the enemies. Yesterday morning, I got a variety video asking all Igbos to gather their things in 28 hours. Did you get it? Huh? How did you feel? Naturally, as a human being, you will look back. My wife is here. My children are here. Oh, my investment and everything. And so, Dr. Wani called my attention to it. I said, I, re I responded to it not as a pastor of Dominion Gate, but as a chairman of the PIFN immediately. We have a link that he hit the governor directly. I pass it on. We have a link at National Assembly. We pass it on. By 12 o'clock, there was already a problem. Praise God. And I said to her, I will, I'm on top of the matter because people are concerned. And by 4 o'clock, um, um, showing, uh, showing car spoke. I said, okay, Apostle, we'll look into it. Praise God. There's some protocols to be broken. I want you to understand that Jesus did not die for nothing. And no one can determine the testimony and the stability of the Christian church. Are we here? People that are trying to be paid with their blood. And I want you to understand that if you want to stop God, God will stop your breath. Let everyone that wants to stop the will of God in our nature go down on an ass. You shall live. You shall not die. All I tell you and warn you, never you be in the midst of men who are talking how to carry arm, who are talking how to break into what does not belong to them, who are talking how to burn our properties. Why do you have to burn our properties? Do you know how long it took us to build them? To me, those that do those things are not Nigerians. They don't have Nigerian blood. You can't be so offended in your house that you begin to destroy your television, your car, and begin to bore your children. You can't be so annoyed. Either you are a stranger. If you are in the family blood, you will stop at your limits and you will explain your grievances and you stop there. May every stranger who has found their way into our nation to destroy our legacy be destroyed by our God. Let's round up this meeting. Come to verse 14. Come to verse 10. And confirm them unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. That caught my attention. Okay? Now, when Jacob became Israel, okay, his relationship with God became an everlasting relationship. That means dominion on earth and dominion in heaven. Experience God on earth and God in Israel during this COVID. Did you have your record? Have you had anyone? Have you heard Israel spoke about Nigerian matter now? No, they're concerned now about America. And they're trying to say, you either stop fighting us, then submit to us. Sudan submitted yesterday to them. Saudi Arabia has submitted. You'll be a friend, and so on and so forth, and they're watchful. 
listen to me if you are a child of god no matter what stop your father no matter what stop your mother it can't stop you don't live on the fear of what stop your father and what stop your mother you are in a better covenant in your covenant God shall be revealed in Nigeria. God shall be revealed in Nigeria. God shall be revealed in Nigeria. Enemies of Nigeria, they have become enemies of God. In the name of Jesus. Verse 11. Saying unto thee, will I give, unto thee will I give the land of Canaan and the lot of your inheritance. Unto thee will I give the land of Canaan. I wanted to say to it as the lot of your inheritance. But this all means that I'm going to give you a land, and in that land, I'm going to put your treasures. Are we here? All you need and all you will ever need to become what God has raised you to be is in this land. God has given you this land, and God is going to preserve you in this land. Everyone that is waiting for you to die where God has planted you and bless you, they will go down for your sake. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now we turn it to verse 14. Now it talks about Joseph. He suffered no man to do them wrong, yet he reproved kings for their sake. The kings today are the president, the kings today may be the legislators. The king today may be the police. The king today may be the army. I saw one of the, where one army man was warning whether it's a policeman. I think the army were shooting into the air and the police were shooting into the crowd. And the army man, and they didn't know that this youth. Now we also heard, one of the things I heard was that the police stations that were destroyed were majorly manned by Northern DPOs. And it was also observed that from all our jaw down that there's no any police station that you have a westerner as a DPO. And that caught our attention in our analysis. So how can we get justice? When you take a man from Zamfara and brought him to Lagos, the culture are different. The serenity of the environment are different. They call there will be easy synergy. Praise God. They will be understanding. Their conscience can always knit together. But somebody can just begin to envy you. Look at them. Big cars, big building, big descent. And where it's coming from is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. So it's not going to adjudicate justice well. We saw this as a case. And the church is working on a report about it. Praise the Lord. So I want to say to you today that your suffering shall be turned to a testimony. In the journey of God, there's always a future. How do I know? The Bible says they suffered and went on a long journey. And God was busy reproving kings. Are we here? People that want to stop them, God stop them. People that want to kill them, God stop them. Because they were on a journey. In your journey of life, you are unstoppable. God shall preserve your journey. God shall preserve your life. God shall preserve your family. In the name of Jesus. In that. How we stay here? Praise the Lord. And then, another translation say, he permitted no one to do them wrong. The permit of the enemy over your life is hereby expired. Are you hearing me? He permitted no one to do them wrong. So, don't live on the fear of your enemies. It's anti-covenant. Remember the everlasting covenant. Agreement with God. Check whether you are righteous. Check whether you are just. And then know what God has promised you. But remember that in this journey of the covenant. He has permitted no one to do you wrong. Today. Every witch. That, that felt. That he stopped your mother. He can stop you. The day they want to do you harm. 
and they went on their meeting, they will not be able to wake up. From that meeting, they will sleep on. Wants to stop your source of joy and your source of happiness. The Lord shall disconnect them from your life. He shall disconnect them from your house. He shall disconnect them from your family. In the name of Jesus. Verse 15. What does it say? Saying, touch not my anointed. My anointed is a preserve of the Lord. When you are anointed, you are preserved. Alright? And when you are preserved, you become unaccessible. And you become invisible. Okay? To the enemy. Come on, are we here? He has set a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Now look at what happened. And he has anointed my head. And my cup. So how can you assess a table in the midst of the enemy? Oil. The oil talks of the anointing. The anointing gives you access, no matter who is in charge. They will be greeting you from a distance. Do you understand it? Why? You'll be even asking them to come, and they'll say, no. At least I'll see you. Praise God. Because there's an anointing of touch, Lord, and an anointing of hope, have not. When you rub this on his hand, he will no longer have money. Everyone that have received money from your hand that have gone to the coven today, as you receive the anointed, your money shall be recovered. Your appointment shall be recovered. Your blessing shall be recovered. In the name of Jesus. Touch not my anointed. So only and jump. They will bow and jump. Toward the end time, iniquity shall abound. Which means evil shall abound. Matthew 24 verse 12. But he says, Touch not my anointed. And what? Do my prophet. How many of you know here that he has made them priests and kings and we shall reign in his place? Every true believer is a prophet. We shall decree a thing and they shall be established. And the light of God shall shine upon our head. How many of you here believe that you are one of the prophets of God in the land? So he said, and do my prophet no harm. It's a decree. Okay, it's a decision of heaven. Nothing will harm you in this land. Rather, every conclusion of men to harm you shall by fire on their head. Every conclusion of men to harm you are how they shall by fire on their head. Every conclusion of men to, to, to harm your finances, they shall by fire on their head. In Psalm 89 verse 20, there's something there. The enemy shall not take exact on him. The enemy is a defeated enemy on the cross. He shall not exact over you. He shall not exact over your finances. He shall not exact over your children. He shall not exact over your husband. He shall not exact over your wife. The enemy shall not exact. They shall not prosper. They shall not excel. He said, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. Let me show you another scripture, Proverbs chapter 26, verse 27. He said, Whosoever that decayed a pit for you shall do what? Shall fall into it. I am hearing a lot of things. A lot of things of what the enemy is planning to do with Nigerians. Because whatever you want to do in the west or in the east is against Nigeria. But my pain is that they are destroying our glorious north. That is our home of uh, agriculture and their home of food. Praise God. And they are making those land to kind of waste. Enemy occupied territory. But we can only chase the enemy with the power of our God. Come on, are we here? Everyone digging pit for anyone called Nigerian and Nigerian blood. As declared from today, oh heaven, hear your word in Proverbs 20, 27. And they said to me, I, I was going, I was in my office area, and suddenly I, I had a gunshot. 
and the gun passed through my neck and I wake up. And I said to him, get up. It's well position, it's well privilege. And I said to him yesterday, don't go anywhere. Sat to him because in front of him, he felt that he has died. And I said to him, the truth that you wake up means that God has given you victory. Don't allow the enemy's impression by the dream for you to accept what has happened. Dream can be a revelation of the plan of the enemy waiting for execution. Are we here? And remember that Psalm 35 is a warfare. Are we here? When you have those dreams, go and tell God, anyone that want my way to be slippery, make their way slippery. And then make them to home to you. Don't go to anywhere. He said, okay. Thank God. So you can have dreams. You can have bad dreams. You can have good dreams, but it's not your end. Are we here? It's not your end. Don't conclude what God has not concluded. There is an everlasting covenant upon your life. In need is abundance life. In need our prosperity. In need are the celebration of your children. I said to you, you will not die before your time. Rise to your feet. Where's Shadrach and Samuel? Come down now. Pastor Buka, can you please come here? Lift up your hands and begin to thank God for the word that they are sending ahead of you. God shall preserve you and your family to the very end. The power that could not stop you from seeing 2020 shall not terminate your life in 2020. Every war declared against you and your house. I command them to be torn against your enemies. God that make it war to come to an end shall make your war to come to an end. Your war shall come to an end. Your war shall come to an end. Your war shall come to an end. Every permission of the no power shall stop your manifestation. No power shall stop your authority. No power shall stop your prosperity. No power shall stop your exploit. No power shall stop your hell. In the name of Jesus. By the end of this season of life, you'll be among those who will stand out in the altar of the living God to give testimony of divine exemption. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Lord, we add to this oil anointing of divine exemption. Let this oil become a seal of everlasting covenant. In the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can we please come? Let the ministers come first. We have a very sharp time to do this. Ed, I come with your wife. I'm not just come nearer.
to be Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha, cause you have chosen us to call us your own. We say you don't need no man, no one, to be the God, to be the God, to be the God. Can you take your seed? It's your seed and your offering for this service. Take it up. Take it up and rise. Give God something reasonable for this moment of your life. I know that God is going to surprise you this week. He's going to surprise your hand this week. He's going to remember you this week. Can you rise to your feet now? When God anointed Moses, they journeyed and God brought their legacy to the promised land. You will live to see the new Nigeria. Every contention of the enemy against you and your family. This anointing upon your life shall preserve you. This anointing upon your life shall put life upon this seed in your heart. You will have your harvest in due season. You will have money in due time. In the name of Jesus, every barrier before your dream, the power that divided the race shall divide it. But will we heal this land with this high praise? And um, if you have any link of any friend anywhere in the world, just let them connect to this house on Friday. What time? Four. Four on the dot. Now, Tuesday, Tuesday evening, 